Hello, everybody. Back with some uh, NBA. So, try and mess with the volume a little bit. Sounds still a little bit off. <laughs> I'll try to fix that. Right, I tried to turn the volume down for the commentary, and I turned course turn the game audio up so I'm hoping it might sound okay but you never know have to see how it sounds after this video because like I said I can't test anything because my laptop gets overheated quickly so I cannot or do anything intensive on my laptop like testing testing the mic <laughs> all right doing my dude doing same dance over and over all right let's take the bird turd on this team as well all right oh this is Kevin Harlan. Now, this might be tough. It'd be real big Alright, let's start this up. Abaka. Alright, Serge, let's go. On you. Need you to focus on taking care of the ball. I don't want to see another turnover. Alright, coach. Give me that ball. Score right on Serge Baka. Horford kicks to Millsap. And there's the call on Durant. Wow, Kevin Durant. Wow. Reaching in on my player like that. You know, I love watching a guy like Paul Millsap play because he's so efficient. No! Can't move. And he's crafty. He's able to score. Come on, Serge Ibaka. Do something. And Millsap, not quite six foot eight, but he's got everything else. Ooh, nice stuff. Freaking yeah, well stuck him. What a bad block attempt. Screw you. Freaking screw you. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yes, guys, Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team. He said the most important thing today is creating good looks for their shooters, finding the open space on the perimeter, and capitalizing on it. The other thing he stressed was the need to be disciplined on offense. He asked for good ball movement and good shot selection. So still in the opening quarter, and already some adjustments being made. Back to you, Kevin. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Oh. No good for money. Thunder trailing by three. That sucks. Horrible. It's Durant with the drive. Here's Lamb. Oklahoma City, the rebound. Ooh, Kevin Durant. So oh, he got fouled by me. Come on, Durant. Miss. Ah, like eh, he's not going to miss it. Yeah, I think you got to foul him, and free throws are better than a layup. You know, often when we think of freakish athleticism in the NBA, it's those Bad with pass for you. explosiveness like LeBron or Dwight Howard, but Kevin Durant physically is unique in his own right. Sure, he's got a slight build, but his mobility for his height, unparalleled. Cunningham passes to Money. Right side, Scott. Four on the shot clock. Fires from deep. They get the rebound. There we go. Drops as they pick up two points from Money. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react All right. as soon as the shot My goes up. Wrestle Westbrook. With the screen for Westbrook. Go. Can't get it to go. And Whoa. The Hawks I jumped like the an idiot way. there. <laughs> you think about the length of Kevin Durant, reach of a center with the fluidity and steel of a guard. Such a rare combination. Kevin. Whoa. It gives them a huge advantage at both ends of the floor. The defense is sure yourself. <laughs> steals and rebounds. And then offensively, the ability to play above his opponents. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Hashim Thabit, he's checked in for Collison. Roberson comes in for Kevin Durant. Tabo Cephalosha has checked in for Lamb. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Scott. Can't get it to go. Nice team. God dang it. And for Atlanta, they come in off a good outing against Cleveland. Yeah, guys, it was just their night. It seemed like they hit every shot they looked at. Absolutely. It was just one of those games where the hot shooting of a couple of players eventually just infected everybody. Cunningham passes to Money. Uses there we the go. To finish the way. And the Hawks lead by six. 
Another nice now for a rebound. Yes. Been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, I think that can really set things up well the rest of the game. Pound the ball inside and then let your perimeter players play off your bigs. Here's Gomes. The put back. Oh. Follow up flush. Well, I love that oh, impression. Damn. Forget about the tip. Just grab the thing and slam it on. Well, what a way to get second chance points. Man, don't take any risks. Just put that ball back in the hoop. Cunningham inside. He's covered by Fuller. Ah. Misses the lane. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. And he drills it. Dang. Beautiful release there from Cephalosha. Come on. And yeah, freaking score some. One point Atlanta lead. Cunningham passes to Money. The kick out to Scott. Wide open. There we go. Scott's got his first two points. Very clever passing. That was just beautifully done. Gomes with it. Here's Cephalosha. And the oh, wow. Another three. Well, they tied that up. Here's Cunningham. Oh, oh. I would love to see a good almost full court shot. All right. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, Steve, Clark, your thoughts? And I thought the key in that first quarter was the offensive aggressiveness. They attacked the rim and got to the foul. Ooh. And I sense they're really feeling good about playing at home, taking advantage of the home court. Jeff Teague and Lou Williams, the back. Elton Brand is out there with money, and it's Millsap in at the three spot. So that's the Hawks' five. Williams dishes to Millsap. The kick out to Williams. Crazy nice shot. Williams has got five now. Very well executed Bing. kick to give him all kinds There's of speed. Money. That one off. money. That's what you that know, was. Despite a bit of an apathetic fan base, the Hawks always seem to be pretty good at home. Won 25 of 41 last year and had a 44 38 overall record. Cephalosia with it. Hill Zap's there. And it's Carter missing. The Hawks leading. All right. Now here's Teague looking for his first basket still in this one. Hill Zap passes to Money. Fires it up. And again. There we go. <laughs> seem to talk about it, Clark, but the Hawks have been absolutely dynamite here at home over the last half decade. Steve, as a visitor, you know this, very tough to get wins here. That's why they call it the highlight factor, Kevin. I mean, this place can oh, be I mean, it's think about boo. Some of the talent they've had here in the last <laughs> few years Josh Smith, who's now in Detroit. That pull away. Al Horford, Jeff T. A lot of exciting players. Ah! And the Thunder God dang it, it Fisher! Now. No! Oh. That's good. Cephalosia's Boo! I think they need to get much more disruptive uh. defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post. Maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. That's nice good. shot. And the Hawks lead by one. Yeah. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it. Yeah, still winning. Good. Fifty nine seconds left in the first half. And here's Perkins. Durant kicks to Lamb. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Or three. Westbrook. Rebounded by the Hawks. Money's got six rebounds in the game. And going against Oklahoma City, their first meeting of the year. And these interconference matchups are important, Kevin. You only see the club twice all season. Uh, and it feels a little different. You want to go out and really put on a good performance. Ah! Corver, no luck. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure. Because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. There's the dish to Carroll. The pass to Money. 
And it's going to be a three second. Oh, bull crap. Screw you. Here's Fisher. Shot is no good. And the first half in. Yes, Kevin, I'm here with Russell Westbrook. And now, Thanks, brought Jeff. to you by Sprint. Glad you're along for the ride as we get the Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. <clears throat> and as we return, a twilight view of the sky. Ah. Uh, God dang it, we're gonna whoop now. Really? Outside Millsap. He feeds it to Williams. Atlanta ah, missing. How did I get that? Well, Mike Boonholzer, you know, the new coach of the Hawks, spent 19 years with the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, bounce off your face. Well, you can ask for a better team off that shiny head of yours. So the Thunder Five right now, we've got Ibaka. Durant is out there with Roberson. And there's Carter. And it's Westbrook in at the point guard. The kick out to Williams. Pass to Teague. Here's Money. On the wing, Williams. Lock at six. Launches it. And it's there we go. time on the assist by Williams. Eight points for Teague. Back to Budenholzer, who was with the Spurs for 19 years. Steve, the Spurs, the winningest team in pro sports over the last 15 years. Yeah, I'm glad that Budenholzer wow. finally got his chance. I played for him for four seasons. He's a, a guy who loves the, the game. He's very dedicated, hardworking, and uh, has learned from probably the best coach in the NBA during his time in San Antonio. Back to Williams. Outside Millsap. This is to Williams. Mott. Here's Horford. That's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And I don't know if there are too many players who start the break as well as he does. It's not just the accuracy that he has on his outlet passes, but how quick he makes them. And also with him, don't think he can collapse the defense on him when he gets the ball in the low post because he is a superb passer. He'll find whoever's been left open. And the Thunder making a switch here. Cephalosius checked in and counted. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. You know, we really haven't seen the same focus defensively that we did in the first half. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Thunder. They've been the aggressors, and they've been tougher in the paint all game. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. Money passes to Horford. A good finish at the rack off the slip feet. Horford's got his second bucket tonight. That's exactly what they had in mind on that possession. Ibaka with a screen on T. And Fisher kicks to Roberson. Ibaka against T. Ibaka, no luck. Looking at Oklahoma City, they took the win in their last game against Indiana. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent, but hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. Big step forward once again for Jeff Teague last season. He continued to up his scoring and assist totals. He had one of his best years from the free throw line to date. Westbrook drives in. Oh, look out! Watch out for oh, wow. <laughs> sublime stuff, guys. Absolutely <laughs> sublime. Clark, he's going to start putting on a show now. Well, that's usually how it goes, fellas. But once they're in front, well, that's when they really let him move. And that replay is sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. Here, the step back. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. We look back to that 2008 draft. The then Sonics, now Thunder, took Westbrook at the four spot. A lot of people thought that was a reach, but tell you what, you redo the draft right now, and he has a legitimate case of being the number one pick. Perkins, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Teague against Fisher. Here's Money. That's good, and so Teague with the assist. And that's now 10 points for Money. Guys, he shot a very good percentage.
sentence today. They need the quarterback in the 2008 draft. Westbrook had played a combo yep. guard at UCLA. And there's some questions, I think, among a lot of scouts and personnel guys' minds about his ability to become a full-time point guard. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I think you always have to look at players, not just for what they might become, but what are they when they get to you. And Russell was a guy who was athletic, aggressive, hungry to get better. And when you've got those attributes and his athleticism, you're going to be a difference maker in the league, and he's proven that to be the case. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been giving them medicine. Fisher against T. Here's money. Ten points for him. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. It's his first trip to the line. Well, not the best statistic for him. I mean, his performance at the line, of course, very low numbers. And guys, it's something that he's going to have to work on more and more because he's still not getting the kind of shooting percentage he would like from the line. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful score. And we've watched three so far in the... The third quarter comes to a close. In a moment now to check out our State Farm assist to the game and what a pass it was by a talented point guard. Well, this is what he does. This is the kind of plays he's known for, Kevin. Jeff Teague and Lou Williams, the back. Elton Brand is out there with money, and it's Millsap in at the three spot. So that's the Hawks' five. Well, Lewis Williams has two things working for him on the offensive end. First, he is lightning fast, and secondly, he shoots the ball so well that he's able to use a great pump fake. And really keeps defenders guessing. And Williams drops them both. Going back to Williams, more turnover prone last season than we're used to seeing. Yeah, that's normally a strength of his, Kevin. High volume offense without turning it over, of course. He changed teams, so perhaps adjusting to the new system made him a little more mistake prone. Kevin Durant is one of the most laid back and easy going guys you'll meet in the NBA, but don't be fooled. He's as fiery a competitor on the court as anyone else in the league. Because he has the talent, but also the drive. He had one in the first as well. He can be dangerous. Keep an eye on him. Now here's Lamb. He's guarded by Williams. And Lamb gets to Westbrook. Left side, Westbrook. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. And I think when you talk about the drive of Kevin Durant, Clark, it all comes from his love of the game. I love watching Kevin Durant play. He is such a special talent. And you can see the inherent joy that he has in playing the game. I mean, it's palpable. It's obvious. He's a big-time gym rep. He just loves to work on the game and continue to refine his skills. He's a joy to watch. Well, Thunder leading by five. And he lobs it up for the rim, an emphatic L.U. jam. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular, never mind it coming at the end of an L.U. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. And now we've got the intentional foul. I'm not sure what he was thinking about there. That's a, that's a strange foul. <laughs> Who knows, maybe he just wanted to take a break for a minute. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Lamb. And that's a foul called on Money. Well, that'll be his third foul so far. Passes it to Durant. Carter outside. Oklahoma City gets it back. Shots good by Ibaka. And his specialty is tracking down those great offensive rebounds that sometimes he can put right back up for an easy deuce. Steve, he is always on the prowl. I mean, you got to body him up early, or he'll stake out that prime real estate for those second shot opportunities. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Thunder. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road at the FedEx Forum in Memphis. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Yeah, you know the fans out in Memphis really hoping their team can win that one. Hard addition to Westbrook. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Durant attacking. Here's Perkins. The basket good off the assist from Durant. 
They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Atlanta's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Teague, the pass to Money. Shot is off. Ibaka with some nice D. The Thunder have gone five of six from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Durant against Williams. And Ibaka kicks to Durant. And again, Serge Ibaka. And the Thunder lead by 13. You can tell they're much more comfortable here. They look at ease. It seems like it took them the entire half before they finally shook the cobweb. They came out sluggish and didn't shoot it well in the first half at all. Williams passes to Money. Tries to snap the cold streak. Thunder with the rebound. Durant's got his sixth rebound on the night. Left side, Westbrook. Feeds to Ibaka. Williams with the steal. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Money passes to Millsap. Here's Money covered by Perkins. Pocket six. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. He's been absolutely in control. No slowing down for Money. Eight rebounds, and he hasn't forgotten to get his teammates involved either. Well, that's important, Clark. I mean, he's conscious of the fact that moving the ball around gets the defense uh, to move. It forces them to work, and it creates a better offensive flow for his own team. Williams against Carter. Left side of Baca. Back to Durant. No luck. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. It's stolen by Ibaka, and that's a foul called on Money. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five would put him in a rough, tough spot. Westbrook against T. And Westbrook, here we go, Perkins. Good. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here the last few possessions. Outside, Williams. To the left side wing. Outside, Millsap. Just five to shoot. Inside. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to 12 points again, and it has to be money. Well, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. Our timeout called by Oklahoma City. Yeah, guys, I think he feels like he can make a few improvements during this timeout, just kind of make a couple of adjustments, get his club back on track. You know, coaches are always tweaking and tinkering with things mid-game. Actually, sometimes they overdo it. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Scott Brooks was discussing with his players. He wants to make sure they stay assertive and aggressive on the offensive end, saying, I don't want to sit on this lead. Let's build on it and not give them a chance of coming back. Guys? Check out the game for Durant. Ten points. He's come up with a couple of nice steals today, too. Well, he's been playing a very energetic brand of defense, Clark. you got to love it. That cuts the lead to single digits. Fifteen points for who Williams. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap up since the start of the second half. They're starting to find the ring. Steve, the Lasers are starting to do their thing. That's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Horford with the block. Now team.
to pull a few tricks out of his sleeve. Kevin, let's see if he's made a wise decision. Thanks again, Doris. The Hawks trail by 11. Millsap dishes to Horford. The pass to Money. Outside Millsap. Puts it up from 17. And that's good. Of opportunities, that's what it's all about. Carter against Williams. Money, no good. Ibaka with some nice D. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And so now we'll go down to Doris Burke, who's standing by live with our Jordan player of the game. Doris? Russell, congratulations on this.